both <laughs> offensively and defensively. Mudge busy early with room two down. She is next to a freshman out in center field as well, Ashton. Up and away, and that's the rise ball to, to each side of the plate. First pitch swinging will chase Danley back to the track, and it's gone. Abby Dukeshire continues swinging a hot bat for Bama. A 1-0 lead for the Tide, who are 12-0 this season when they score in the first inning. Eyes ball at the top of the zone that we talked about, and this one's a little bit off speed. You can see the way it's flipping in, spinning in the opposite direction, and Dukeshire is not fooled by it and she punishes this pitch and just sends it right over the center field wall. Dukeshire with a big hit here early in the game and you know we talked about Beth with ERA is much higher than they're used to around here. And that's lofted out towards Mudge back it goes and it's off the wall. Giles will stand up at second. So a home run followed by a double in the heart of the order. Only remaining unbeaten. Right back up the middle, through the legs of Royalty, out to center. Giles will try and score. Throw to the plate is not in time. Two, nothing tied as Dowling picks up the ribby. Well, right now, Royalty is just a little bit too much over the plate. That of the plate. This is a 1-1 pitch. And again, look at where Edenfield's glove was supposed to be, where the ball was supposed to be, and where the ball went. So the ball is really just coming right over the white part of the plate, doing Alabama a favor, and they have been punishing it. Dukeshire, Giles, Dowling, a lot of power through the middle of the order for Alabama. And already some bullpen activity. Emma Broadfoot gets underneath it. Devin Flaherty with the catch, a home run, a double, and an RBI single. Peace pass, and it's gotten them to the championship series in Oklahoma City three times in five years. And Beth, to your point, coming into tonight's game, nine or six of their top seven hitters back from back. last year. Back. It's incredible. And she's found a home in the lineup. That is caught on the edge of the infield grass. Cahalen over there, one down. One up percentage up. Slow roller to second base. Hevelin's only play is to first mudge into scoring position with two down. Move it, and that's how you induce the swing and miss. Eddie Field, Hevelin stays down on it. One base runner, one stranded, one inning complete. Two. And that'll sneak inside the bag at first. Base hit for Kendall Clark to lead off the inning. The defending champions in the regular season and the tournament last year. This might be two. Flaherty with the tag. The throw to first double play. And that's one of the things you're used to seeing from Florida State is typically really good pitching in the circle. A little trickler right out in front. And the two out base hit for Bama. Hits lefty pitch yeah. really, really well. And so when you look at the analytics, you're like, oh, okay, I probably would start royalty as well. Evelyn lifts that one deep center field back towards the track and room to make the catch for Danley. Couple stranded, 2 nothing tied to the top 25 teams in the country. Wake Kayser off the end of the bat. That's going to hop in front of Hevelin, who scoops it over to first to get the out. That's a really good pay by Hevelin because that ball had a lot of English on it. And I can tell you, as a fielder, when you see that sound for Issa Torres. First pitch swinging right at Kahalen. Two down. Well, this is the defensive outing, really, that Alabama needed. They not upper part of the zone, get underneath the hands. And Ross draws the two-out walk. That's the second walk issued by Beaver. At first base, always the green light. She is a perfect 16 for 16 swiping bases this year. If they can get her on the move, there she goes. But Danley, a swing and miss. Olivia Lackey was outstanding. Olivia, little side note, beat them as a freshman as well. Oh, and there's a base hit for Abby Dukeshire. Spot doubled and scored her first time up. And 
she drives the walk. That'll bump Dukeshire over to second. And Indus, we had a pinch runner come on. Dowling, and another base hit. And this will load them up for Alabama. Second hit for Bailey. All those righties. Broadfoot slams her bat down, disappointed as she pops it up. One down. That's a big hit for him. This chase something up at the shoulders. Popped up in foul territory. Ross under it. Two pop-ups for Reed here. Two down. Now a couple lefties. Kahalen grounded into a double play. First time up, and she pops it up. Flaherty under it. Reed comes on and works her way out of it. Three straight pop-ups with the bases loaded for Bama. Team did not start out the season ranked, but uh, clawed their way in. Devin Flaherty and on the run. Kahalen able to get to it. The number nine batter retired, one down. Ground ball to short. Kahalen charges, fires, two down. Slow roller down the line. That's a fair ball, and Dowling takes care of it. A one, two, three inning in the bottom of the third. It's a tough ticket to get. Base knock out to center, and White in that nine spot in the lineup. This bunt is in play. Only play is to first. Flaherty there to cover. One down on the sacrifice gets White into scoring position. Hard shot to third. Checking the runner is Beecham over to first. Two down. Beecham well positioned. Popped up in foul territory, and on the run is Ross to make the catch. And another one stranded for the tie. as Reed for the second inning in a row. And back up the middle. Backhanded Hevlin's got a hustle, and there's the first hit of the night. An infield job for Harding, and it's the third inning. Draws the walk and the tying run aboard. The go ahead will come to the plate for Florida State. It's the third walk from Beaver. Got her. Chase the rise out of the zone. One down. Well, that is just a great sequence of these pushing them off the plate. Tora is really stepping back. Look how far up the plate she is. Ground ball to second. Hevlin charges over to first. Two down. And two in scoring position now for Florida State. Velo, Velo for Kayla Beaver can get up in the 70s. And so that one gets away from Giles. Runner to the plate. And safe at home is Harding. Florida State on the board. Span the zone with the power of Ross. It just goes off the glove of Giles. Harding, good jump, but a nice throw in. Giles tries to make it close. Ball pops out of Beaver's glove. Ross gets a hold of one. Fly ball out to left, and Jenna Johnson is there to make the catch. Side 70, similar for so many amazing softball players in the 1970s that yes. really got the sport rolling. Help build it even what it is today. Back after Florida State got one in the bottom of the fourth. Rick to short. Torres fires over to first, diving back in safely as Jones. Good play by Issa. Simon right field against Florida. 1-1 one, one pitch. Torres snags it again. Two nice plays on liners for the new shortstop. Replacing the legendary Josie Muckley there. Arrived home back in the first. 
Haven't been anybody to get back since. It's Lope to the right side, and Wakecaser is there. Another runner stranded. 2-1 Bama. Her first time up, only two strikeouts for Beaver. Induced a lot of ground balls, and she laces that one out to left, and it gets by Jenna Johnson. And the tying run at second base for Florida State. Dan Lee, the freshman, just a lot of composure, a lot of experience. Um, swinging away, fly ball out to left. Johnson under it, cannot advance the runner. One down to the top of the order. It sounds like personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mudge, hot shot to second. Hevlin's got it, tying run, moving over to third. The two. Tried to check it and could not. The strikeout with the tying run at third, and Alabama stays in front two to one. This week might be one of his best teams. Mm -hmm. So close at Oregon for years, then at Texas in the championship series two seasons ago. There's a shot down at first. Ross Terry. Eye hand. Popped up and over the shoulder <laughs> catch made by Torres. And sometimes ignore the inside noise. You know, what's yeah. your self-talk as a pitcher? It's very easy to get a little negative at times. Johnson draws the walk. <laughs> Hedlund gets a hold of one. Back that goes to the base of the wall. And gone! Danley had a shot at it, and it clears the fence. On Hedlund, you could just tell the way she was locked in, that foul ball prior, the way that she was seeing the ball, that barrels it up, stays inside of it, and goes the opposite way with it. So a pitch on the outer half, a backdoor curveball, that's a little bit too sweet. Look at the way the front foot is down, the head is down, the barrel. <laughs> Just tracking that ball, connecting, going opposite field into the gap. And Hevlin with that third home run. That's a big two-run shot. Second of that double header through five innings. Picked up a win. Ground ball to Torres. She'll gobble that up. Side retired, but damage done after a walk. A Harding got under it. On the grass, out and right. Evelyn one down. <laughs> Got your little table there for your snacks. Edenfield chases out of the zone. Two big outs for Johnson. After this pitch, this is a rise ball. She's just going to get it up in the eyes of Edenfield. She's going to swing through it. Really good location. Ground ball to Kahalen. A. Lee Johnson taking care of the three, four, five hitters, retires them in order as we head will count. Giles chops that to beat him at third. One down. Beat him, nice backhand, two down. He's up the middle, Beecham comes off the line. Beecham, the trifecta at third base. <laughs> I love it. A one, two, three, Beecham inning. Last chance coming up for the Knowles. Bama in front, four to one. Torres, snagged at second by Hedlund who climbs the ladder, one down. against the Jack Rabbits yesterday. That's right. <laughs> Ross, did she get enough of it? Back to the base of the wall, and oh. the catch is made by Kristen White. Put a scare into it. Danley ripped one back up the middle. Still alive. Seeing it well tonight. 
Cleary into foul territory, and it's caught by Bailey Dowling for the final out, and Alabama with a pair of home runs tonight and a two-hitter from Kayla Beaver and Ailey Johnson hits the road for the win, 4-1 to one over Florida State. Uh -huh.